epic conditions awaited the Volvo Ocean Race fleet as the 17s launched into the North Atlantic for the start of Leg 2, 7,000 miles from Lisbon to Cape Town. For rookies and professionals alike, the opening 48 hours turned into one solid test of character as the race fleet hurtled west, life above and below decks equally as challenging. Uh, no, I was pretty broken this morning. Uh, I haven't had a lot of sleep. This is just the beginning, so it's only going to get worse. The fleet started in the protection of the Tagus River, passing under the 25 to Abril Bridge, before bidding Lisbon farewell and blasting into 30 knot winds and three meter Atlantic swells. Just the wave state, it's pretty big right now. Yeah, it was hectic, uh, lots happening. Heaps of puffy wind coming out of the river. Uh, and now we're, we're sending it in 30 knots, quite a big seaway. Um, we're already very wet and, uh, and we'll only be going an hour and a half. It's been a bumpy ride so far, but uh, it's getting nicer, but uh, we're going to get finder. <laughs> See if we can find a faster ride to the south. For first timers, it proved to be an eye-opening start in more ways than expected. So I just went to windward to go and get the highly to side off and uh, sat in front of the winch to try and clear it. Just as the wave came, the wave took me out, but I was clipped on. Mum, don't worry. <laughs> Racing one design boats, this is a test of every team's nerve. Hong Kong Sun Hung Kai Scallywag discovering the line, wiping out when they lost steerage. Skipper David Witt getting them quickly back under control and in pursuit of the leaders, the wet conditions a constant challenge above and below decks. A few issues on board, we've got a big leak in the nav station and we've wiped out our main navigation which is pretty annoying seven hours into a you know 21 day leg moist and that's all i can do to describe the last 24 hours very moist fast and moist after 48 hours the teams faced their first big strategic decision which side to pass madeira every boat opting to round to the west to stay in the strong winds mafre and dongfeng race team at the front of the group Leg one winners Vestas 11th hour racing hang on to third, but continue to fend off the back four, led by Team Brunel and Axel Nobel, turn the tide on plastic and Sun Hung Kai Scallywag also in the pack. For some, the ranking reports are tough on morale. Uh, a bit disappointed because we thought we'd been pushing quite hard, but uh, obviously not as hard as the others. So we're uh, going to have to try a bit harder. Few rookie sailors in the race have the chance to steer the boats downwind in heavy weather conditions, whereas aboard Team Brunel and Team Axel Nobel, 49er Olympians Martin Grail and Peter Burling were quick to show off their natural ability. It's pretty, uh, pretty big waves and steep, uh, so it was pretty challenging. But it was uh, like driving a 49er with 25 knots, <laughs> not a lot of difference. With temperatures forecast to rise and the wind set to ease as the boats close in on the equator, the team's next challenge is to head west fastest to benefit from the trade winds in search of a quick passage through the often problematic doldrums. 